Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials, and today we're here to check out Trials of the Blood Dragon. This game was just announced by Ubisoft at E3, and over the next few minutes I'm going to try and explain what the game's all about. The game is billed as a narrative sequel to Far Cry Blood Dragon, set 12 years after the last one finished up. The two main characters in the game are Roxanne and Slater, children of the protagonist from Far Cry Blood Dragon, Rex Power Colt. Now I don't want to spoil any of the story, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about what happens. Needless to say, there's some crazy stuff that's going to happen along the way, and I will say that the narrative does give some good context to why you're going through so many crazy things throughout the rest of this game. The game is centered around the hub, which is the kid's bedroom, and as you progress through the game, more posters and more objects become unlocked, which you can drill down into to get more content. As you'd expect for any Trials game, the leaderboards are here and you can compete with friends and anyone around the world. There's also a few collectibles in the form of these stickers and musical tracks, but what's hidden under Slater's bed is something I'm going to leave for a little later in the video. It just wouldn't be a Trials game without bike riding. This game's no exception, except that it kind of is. I mean, you've still got the same bike controls, and I will say, Trials of the Blood Dragon has some of the best level design I've seen in a long time. But the bike riding is more accessible. Even if you've never picked up a Trials game before, I feel in this game you'll be able to. And with good reason. Trials of the Blood Dragon adds quite a lot, especially for those people who perhaps feel like a bike game isn't for them. Firstly, you can shoot stuff, but make sure your aim's right, or suffer the consequences. The shooting adds another element to the bike riding, but that's not the only new feature in this game. All of the craziest gaming experiences come with a grappling hook, and Trials of the Blood Dragon is no exception. In the right hands, these tools make you a weapon. In the wrong hands, it look like this. Bike riding is only one of many elements of this game. Unlike any other Trials game before this, you're now able to get off the bike. Trials of the Blood Dragon has a fairly robust platforming element that'll have you ducking and shooting and jumping and pushing your way through many different levels. Skill is still required as you can see, and it wouldn't be the University of Trials without a little tip, so I'm going to suggest for the platforming levels you use the right trigger for jumping and the right analog stick for shooting. The alternative is to use A for jumping and I find that much more difficult. You'd think with riding and platforming that that would be enough. But not for this game. Regulars for the Trial series might recognize this one, where you've got a tow and explosive behind the bike. But this game dials it up to 11 by the inclusion of jetpacks, eight wheeler tanks, a little remote control vehicle that actually drives in both ways called the Turbo Flip, which is incredibly fun to drive, and even a minecart. Overall, I enjoyed this game. It was a fun change of pace from Trials Fusion, but I think it'd be fair to say that if you were zero faulting extreme tracks and looking for the next progression on your journey, perhaps this isn't for you. As a single player game with no track editor, this isn't even really in competition with Trials Fusion. With over 100,000 community generated tracks, you'd be forgiven for not even checking this out. Until that is, I found what was under Slater's bed. I'm going to delve into this during another video, but I will say that there are 6 extreme tracks that are hidden within this game, and for anyone who is looking for that harder challenge, I'd strongly recommend you check them out. So I'm going to wrap it up here. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. And make sure you subscribe to the University of Trials, because I'm going to have loads more content relating to Trials of the Blood Dragon over the coming weeks.